Hello everyone, uh, it's a little cold, I'm a little sniffly, I'm sorry, I'll try and contain it, but, uh, fun day! I got all the upgrades that I've been ordering and waiting for, they all came out, so I'm going to do a little quick unboxing. I also got, ooh, I got the digital thermometers, and I got all the stuff for an air assist. For my laser so hopefully I uh, ordered the right stuff and this should oh boy I don't know why I got two solenoids oh no they sent me 12s no I hope they didn't send me 12s oh no they're 24s Woo. airline solenoids two for some reason pressure regulator fittings the uh, connectors Go to the board wire and uh, two little digital thermometers because I need those in my sump and then uh, yeah so I got all that I'm gonna hook that up to my little cobalt over there that thing should be able to do fine and that's gonna be a whole nother video that I'll be cutting up and shipping out so yeah I got a lot of stuff coming and most of its laser centered <laughs> Can you tell what I'm into so, so thanks a lot guys and keep watching i really appreciate it um yeah leave me any thoughts or anything down in the comments thanks for coming by have a good one hello everyone as you can see i've been uh playing with my new toy making some things but uh today is going to be hooking up my new air assist the uh, stock pump is kind of weak, so uh, we're going to set this up today. I'm going to record it. There's a bunch of people doing them, but hey, why not? Everybody else does it. So I ordered all my fittings. I'll put all the links and stuff down below. Um, basically, we're just going to go with from this stuff to this, which is our air pump. Sorry, our, our compressor. So this will go to the compressor and then run to here through our gauge and water separator and to our solenoid, which this little bit will go in there. And then we're going out of our solenoid and to the machine. I have to hook up. The machine has it, so this is going to go through the back and this is what I'm going to hook up to the existing. Um, got a little roll of wire because we got to go back to a controller and a package of connectors that goes back to the motherboard. And that's it. Um, I'm going to Teflon tape all these fittings up and all of that. And you don't need to watch me fast forward through making this stuff. Um, I will, uh, I'll be back. I'm going to do this and then we'll show you what we're doing on the machine for right now and we'll get her done all right everybody that's it uh thanks for coming hello out. all welcome back to the laser cutter so quick rundown of what uh, i'm gonna do here this is the old pump which you can see um this is our airline that we're trying to get to that runs back up to our cutter i am going to disconnect this and basically run this all the way over I got this little hole here you can just see so I'm gonna put my air in here and then connect up to this guy to uh, facilitate the upgrade I'm going to probably mount that um, regulator somewhere where I can get at it I'm not sure yet I've got this whole area on the side here I've got it on the back but I want to be able to get to it and this is going to be up against the wall all the time so I'll probably just run a line out and over and in here and then hook up to this guy here um, I got our side panel off over here 
And I'm believing it is that guy. You can just see it. I don't know if this camera's focusing, but um, 24 volt and air assist is what that says. So we gotta hook up to there. I gotta run wires in there. I gotta unwire the other pump. But uh, for right now, we're just going to get this all up and running. And continuing the saga. So this is the front of my machine. Uh, this is my power strip that I can control everything on. Um, I got individual power for each outlet so I can turn certain things on and off. I find that pretty handy actually if you don't have one. I really recommend it. Um, this is where I'm going to mount my um, air dryer and regulator. I'm going to put it here so I got good access to it. I can run the hose under the machine and into the back which I'll show you in a second and I'll have easy hookup for my airline. So, um, yeah, we'll get that done. And then... And then we will flip around the back and show you what's going on. So I have, uh, I've got all these together, taped, and I've got my solenoid wired um, and we're just gonna throw it up in here and then switch around to the back for hooking up the rest of it. But I just wanted to show you guys how this is gonna go together. They give you a nice little mounting point, super easy. And I gotta, I gotta wire loom and clean up the wires, obviously. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think I'm going to replace this as well. Uh, so I can come out of the bottom and go that way. But uh, yeah, that's the front. And I'll show you this when it's all done and hooked up. And we're going to switch around to the back now. So stay tuned. Okie dokie. So let me show you what I got going here. That side goes from my compressor, and got all these together. I got my 90 in there, but I found that little hole that had the feet attached to it. So instead of running it all the way to the back of the machine, I actually ran it right inside. I don't know if you can just see it. It's the hose and the wire. I ran it under my air box. And I'm going to try and get this all the way back there to my uh, wire trough. So that's all hooked up and I connected my, the original one straight up to my new airline. So I by bypassed the pump and now I've got to unhook the power for the pump because we don't need that running and um, hook up the new leads to power the solenoid, which will be incoming. <laughs> Alrighty, so you can see these two top ones are 24 volt and air in. These are my two wires that I have run from my solenoid across the back of the machine through this trough sorry, through this trough and up to hook it up. Now, I've seen people um, having to buy these for some reason. My machine had one already. It had this connector in it. So check your machine before you buy them. Um, I didn't need them. It cost me five bucks. So, <laughs> whatever. Um, the other power is running to here for our air pump. So all I did was pull it out of the loom and disconnect it and it can just sit in this cabinet. It's not getting power anymore. It's away. It's quiet. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show you guys how that happens. Everything's tucked up nice and we will uh, fire this guy up and see how it works. 
Thanks for coming by, guys. Have a great day. All right, everyone. Welcome back. So this is just a little test of the uh, laser, making sure everything's good. And, yeah, make sure you have gone in and turned it on in light burn. And once you've done that, it's pretty much just roll with it, man. So I'm going to do a little test here. You guys can see. Yeah, it's way more powerful. The compressor's going to kick on here in a second, but I just wanted to uh, do that. And uh, thanks for coming by, or thank you for coming by. Keep watching. i got a bunch more upgrade videos coming out. And that's it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.